Hello, Pups is my dog here again to show you 15.ai. It recently got a really big update and a lot of things changed since the first tutorial that I made, which was posted at one of the worst times possible because 15.ai literally went down like a day before or the day of it being posted. So. We don't talk about that. In case you don't know, 15.ai is part of a project to achieve text-to-speech that is as real to real speech as possible. They have a lot of characters from fictional universes, including Valve Games and My Little Pony and SpongeBob and the list goes on. So here's what the updated website looks like. Um, I have not looked at every single thing, so I don't know what all the changes are, but there have been quite a few. Of course, the first thing I would advise you to do is read the instructions here, and it kind of tells you like if you're having issues, how to fix it, what might be going wrong, and how to use the software. I'm also going to show you how to use it. Um, so the first thing you want to do anytime you use this in a project is to cite the source of the website to give the author credit. That's literally the only thing that they ask, and I think that's super generous. Please don't abuse it. They also don't want you to mix other text-to-speech voices unless it's really well known, like, let's say, the Google lady that tells you to turn right in two feet. Yeah, um, because they don't want their project to be confused with other projects and so on and so forth. So please respect that. Um, so as for actually using this thing, what you'll do first is source, which is where your voice is coming from. Um, I'm going to go with TF2. And then whenever you select a source, you have different options of characters that you can choose from. Um, I'm actually... Let's go spy because... <laughs> Alright, so basically... At the most simple level, you're going to type text into this box and it's going to give you outputs. So I'm just making this little sample sentence and you press generate. Alright, so these deep emoji things represent like the emotion that is given by whatever sentence that you've put in and it affects how it's going to be read. Um, a great thing since 15.ai is updated is it actually gives you three different samples at once. So each time you press generate you have three options to choose from. Um, I'm not sure what all the analytics things do. I guess it like shows you how much of each emotion is in the sentence, but you can manipulate most of this in one way or another. My name is Spy. How are you today? Hi. My name is Spy. How are you today? Hi. My name is Spy. How are you today? Alright, so you see they're all a little bit different. You can press generate and get, you know, all kinds of different outputs. It's never the same. Like each output is always different. If you want to change the emotion of what they're saying, it's contextually based. And it's all experimental, so none of this is a formula. You just got to play around with it. But if you put a vertical bar, and then after that vertical bar, you type in like, I hate you. Also, explanation marks and question marks and commas will affect the output, like commas will put in pauses, question marks will like add a question inflection, and explanation marks will either make them sound louder or more frantic. So it's just a thing to play around with, and let's try to generate this. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, the emojis changed to mean like angry, broken hearted, aggressive, all of those kind of things. So now let's hear how it sounds. Hi, my name is Spy. How are you today? Okay, sounds like he wants to kill me. That's good. Ah, my name is Spy. How are you today? Ha, my name is Spy. How are you today? Yeah, he sounded a lot more forceful in that one. Okay, so I just tried 
to mess around with the ARPABET thing and I cannot figure out how it works. I went to the Wikipedia and the website that they linked and neither of those things are working. So either that part isn't operating properly or I'm just not doing something right. One thing I will suggest to though, if a character is not pronouncing a word correctly and you don't know how to use the arpabet like me, then you can put in different words or sounds to simulate what that word sounds like. So for example, if I want him to say howdy partner, but I want him to pronounce partner as pardner. I could type in howdy and then maybe pardner. Let's see what we get. Howdy pardner. Howdy pardner. Okay, that doesn't work. So what if we just put it in R? Howdy pardner. Howdy pardon. Howdy pardon. Okay, there's a this one's pretty good. Howdy pardon. Yeah, so if you just put in different sounds then you can kind of simulate different pronunciations. Um you just really got to play around with it. Like I said earlier, there's no set formula. That's kind of the basic rundown of what 15.ai is and how you use it and it's really simple and it's really fun. Uh, I hope that this helped you, and if you figure out what's up with the ARPABET thing, then please let me know in the comments because that would be really good to know about. And like I said, I tried two or three different ways to do it and I could not figure it out, so yeah. Um, anyways, I hope that you have fun using 15.ai and that you have a blessed day and keep being awesome.